Okay, um, I've exited, and you know, there's my security folder. So I'm now actually in, in my actual file system. I'm no longer in the CHU jail. But another way to take advantage of it, in, in the first example, we we used CHU, we went into our CHU jail, and we ran a graphical component um, in the in the jail itself, and we just exported it to X Windows. In this example, I'm outside the CHRU jail, and I'm going to use gksudo to you know, launch a genome or X Windows uh, graphical program. So even though I'm outside the CHRU jail, I'm going to go into the CHRU jail and launch Firefox from within it. So temporarily, I'll just simply CHRU to, um, I'm going to go to security and jail. And in security jail, uh, the program that that I want to launch is going to be Firefox. Again, I'll, I'll do Firefox. I haven't installed on my dependencies yet, but it's it's still enough to where you can see the results or see what it's like to launch applications from a CH root gel at this point. And I, I can always go in and you know make my uh, root gel uh, programs and applications and system as sophisticated as I need to. So again, I'm just gonna I want to export uh, export the display here. So I'm outside the CH root gel. Um, but I'm going to run this particular program inside of or from within the CH root jail. Um, let me supply my root level password. Okay, and again, just ignore the dependency issues because at this point I haven't really installed a whole lot. It's just a sort of a bare bones system. But so I'm personally I'm outside my CH root jail, but I'm still running this you know implementation of or, or this instance of Firefox from within inside the CHRU jail. So again, if, if my browser were to get hijacked or something bad were to happen, it wouldn't be able to get out and damage um, my real file system. It's trapped inside that CHRU jail. First, we want to go ahead and mount the proc folder, um, you know, in, in our ch root jail to the proc folder in our host file system. So, we're going to do sudo and use the mount command and the dash o option, and we're just going to bind. So it's sort of like creating an unbreakable link um, to proc. And for me, created my root jail in security jail, and it's going to be the proc folder. All right, and if I use mount command, you can see now that it's mounted there. Next, um, I'm going to make sure that my, you know, I'm going to make sure that I copy my resolve.com file from my host file system, um, you know, again to the one in the CH root jail so that I can do DNS hostname resolution for internet access and other things like that. So I'm just going to do sudo cp and the etc or etc folder um, resolve.conf and I'm going to put it into security and jail and etsy and recall and call it resolve.conf For the next example, um, let's see what it would be like to maintain a separate window <coughs> for things running in the CH root jail, and then we'll have other windows for things that are not in the CH root jail. Maybe you know, for one reason or another, um, we want to keep those things apart or in separate uh, separate windows. If that were the case, um, I first want to enter my CH root jail once again. So sudo ch root, and I'm going to go into security and jail. And so now I'm in my fake file system, so to speak, or yeah, you know, it looks like root if I print the working directory, but remember, it's, it's just a, the CH root jail. Um, and and I, I, this, again, it's, it's very bare bones. I have barely enough to actually run anything. I just installed a text editor and, you know, I have Firefox, but not all the dependencies met. And... Uh, 
Um, but if I were going to do this, I would need to set up some kind of a window manager. Um, and so I'm just going to install Metacity. And I'm going to use sudo apt get. And there are many, you know, there's Genome and Metacity and, and you know, um, After Dark, all, all kinds of window managers out there. Um, so I'm going to do install and meta, Metacity. Okay. And 220 megabytes. That's quite a bit. Again, I'm not going to make you wait. So we'll come back when this is all done. Okay, for uh, the next task, make sure that you're in the host file system. So if you're in your CH roots uh, gel, just type exit to get out of it. Make sure you're in your host file system. And I'm just going to go to the root level there. And you can see that I'm I'm not in the, the jail, but I'm in the root file system because there's a security subdirectory. The next thing I need to do is install a, a package, xnest. So I'm going to do sudo uh, and xnest. And I'm just going to respond with yes. <coughs> And I, I need this to get, you know, in order to be able to launch graphical applications in a, a separate X window from within my CH root gel. Okay. And once I have XNest installed, I'm going to go ahead and start a session, uh, X Windows session in XNest. So um, I'm just going to do uh, XNest with the AC option. And we'll send it out to this display here. So this display will be open. And I'm going to keep that open. You know, this is running in this terminal here. So I'm going to keep both of these open. Here's this will be my X window for separate processes. And I just want to do XNest. And I'm going to specify the geometry argument, which will let me specify the window size. Um, and I'm going to do uh, 800 by 600. And I'm going to start it out at X coordinates uh, 40. And 40, so those are the x, y coordinates, and pipe it to one. All right, so here, here's my x nest win window here, and it's sitting there waiting. Now I'm going to open up another terminal, and with this terminal, again, let me kind of zoom in here a few times. This terminal, I'm going to Go into my ch root jail. So sudo and uh, ch root and security jail. All right. So um, I've, I've gone into my ch root jail. And here I just need to, you know, kind of. Uh, attach the export or export the display to my XNest window. Remember I set it up, um, it's, it's piped to one. So I'm just going to use the export command and display. And I'm just going to set it to the loopback, 127001. And I'm going to pipe it out to one. Okay. And um, with that done, now I need to start the window manager in the background. So I'm just going to do Metacity, and if I use the ampersand, that'll launch that daemon or process in the background. So that'll launch my window manager. So like, I'm going to try gedit. All right, and here's gedit. And those are actually, you know, objects inside my 
inside my root gel. All right, and again, I, I have to. There's I'm a long way from finished. I have to install a lot of dependencies and things, but this will just let you see what it's like running applications, you know, inside my CH root gel in a separate X Windows or X Nest window. Now, what I'm going to do here, um, let me do Firefox. Okay, just a web browser. All right, and. All right, so, and you can see, you know, there's my hostname resolution, and then here I end it here. So, just to give you an example of XNest and another way of utilizing your CH root 